Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Tulan, and we are going to fight the Assassin. It is time for us to get onto this Royal Rumble. I am highly, highly suspicious whether or not this was a good idea. There are a couple of problems with the Assassin to start with, so let's explain the fight and where the tricks within that fight uh, are. The Assassin itself is a difficult encounter. She cannot be hit by overboard shots, which makes it incredibly difficult. She can hit you automatically, which makes it even more difficult, and unfortunately in our iteration of her, she got the two best abilities that she could theoretically uh, have gotten, which is Planeswalker, that allows her to kind of teleport all over the map, perfect for her because she wants to be, like, she wants to go in and out and in and out and uh, being, like, at a random spot on the map with her 500 million movement speed, um, that definitely will help her. The second negative or problematic trait that she has is she certainly um, uh, she certainly can uh, steal back life. So if she attacks with her sword, this is not blockable. And to my understanding, even dodge will not work. So the uh, the legendary katana of hers kind of bypasses all sort of defense, which makes her a pretty, pretty, pretty de devastating encounter. I am a bit mad about myself that I haven't brought or I haven't waited longer to get at least the rapid shot because I feel that I might have been a bit too cocky um, in already getting here and that might that might be a that might be a problem further down the road not sure yet how this is going to play out but certainly Currently it is a problem. We do have our Icarus jumps. At least something. Okay, I'll go. And we need to use these first encounters here in order to get the ghost going. Which is the next big uh, thing. Void Conduit could be helpful because so we could heal ourselves with it. Might keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Want to see? I mean, he was full already, but I was hoping we would see how much it heals for. Because Void Conduit could be a savior for us. I'm, I'm trusting you. The reason why I'm staying on this side of the map is I want to make sure that we're not triggering the Chosen right away. I would want to kill him with a melee attack. Many to get focus back. Okay, so far so good. I think we're on the right track. Let's reload a little bit. Avoid Conduit is a damage over time effect. Effectively killing this guy as well. So as long as we do have... Oh, nice. Um, as long as we do have ample, um, ample humanoid um, enemies, we should not have a problem. We're summoning our ghost right away. Again, mainly to make sure that we 
have enough firepower. The goal starts with three focus. And let's wait. Good. So, in terms of spawning her, let's use the ghost. And start this fight, guys. So, there she is, in all of her beauty, in all of her treasuresness. I hate her. I hate her a lot. Maybe even more than the Warlock. Mainly because her abilities are even more unfair than the ones that the Warlock had to offer. So, she has Planeswalker. That's the teleportation I talked about. Soul Stealer is the Life Leech. That's a problem, by the way. Oh, I forgot she could summon Stun Lancers because it wasn't bad enough beforehand. Those here could hit us uh, and KO us, which means we need to make sure that Roby is out of their reach. She can enter uh, Overwatch at the end of her turn, and she's immune to all Overwatch. Her negative effect isn't really relevant for us because we don't have that many attacks, and that's really one of the problems for us against her. We just don't have the amount of attacks. Let's see if we can spot her out. No. It seems as she's not here. She normally positions herself like somewhere near the altar. If she is a vanishing Vince does does not allow her to just move away completely. Well, perfect start, right? Can't even see her. I guess that'll be okay. Okay. That is helpful. I was about to say, it helps a lot if we can spot her out right away. And that was somewhat uh, helpful as well. This world is ours. All my for now. It will take more than superficial wounds to slow my advance. Getting our focus back. Ah, that was a bad move. Unfortunately, we have nothing to stop her, so she's probably going to hit uh, Roby once. Trying to keep our um, operatives as close together as possible. Because the reason, or one of her abilities, which uh, the, the teleport uh, allows her to teleport somewhere in uh, vision range. So if your vision range is just far enough away, it'll have no effect. Uh, 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 if, uh, let me formulate that was a bad explanation, terrible explanation. If you stick closely enough together, she can only teleport to the edges. The problem is, is with um, Hawkbite here, he will sort of need to go pretty close uh, to, her, uh, to her and therefore automatically make that ability way better than it normally is because he always needs to move like all the way up to her. To do something about this. Yeah. 
Okay, moving up here, that will be at least one auto attack. We need to be a bit careful with Roby. I don't want to position him too close to her, because that automatically prompts yet another attack of, of hers. Where is a good position? I, w I want to flank him and actually also kill uh, kill him if possible. You know what? It's a protocol ourselves. That is as good as um, that is as good as being in full cover. And I guess like one good position is over here. I don't want to use the Icarus jump. Maybe hmm. getting hit by the stun lancer could end this run because uh, they can very uh, they might as uh, well um, hit us unconscious. Moving to here is a good flanking position, but is the absolute wrong move to do because we're so close to her. She just being uh, very, uh, very much in proximity here makes any move difficult. Um, however, I may say that this move here be the uh, is probably the best one because she is far away, probably going to prioritize someone else. And we're having flanking, and we're having overwatch, and we're having full cover. So lots of good things. Um, good. Good, that worked out pretty well. There's the blade stone. Bobby has untouchable. So it wouldn't be the worst if she would go for him. Harbor wave is also fine. The blindness is bad. But not so bad, so we can work with it. Might as well move over here, uh, continue to hit her, and be close to the sarcophagus. Good little shot. That worked out well. We need to continue applying pressure to her, so that's why I'm uh, following her. You are your time. We're back to full focus, that's good. So you might be surprised, but I am still not going to take her. He's just here as a decoy for now. Can take a hit if uh, if need be. I move with the wind.
Let's see. Did she vanish? Yep. Nice. Good. We caught her out. That's great. We're going to keep the lightning hands. We need it. Once the sarcophagus is uh, ready to be attacked. And I need to uh, move Hogbite all the way uh, to the other side as well. So he is actually standing in quite a bit of a bad spot there. Okay, reload. She teleported to a spot where we can't really follow her. The Overwatch does nothing, but I don't have anything better to do. I was hoping she would go for the ghost, maybe. It sucks if she doesn't trigger anything. It just makes it so much more painful. Triggering Overwatch. And this is where the fight gets ugly because we're uh, caught in this pattern of her getting sword attacks every now and then. We're barely like chucking her down. And we're taking more and more damage. Unfortunately, she also dodges. Okay, so she's on the other side. I will just put ourselves here as a scapegoat. wave doesn't do much because we're immune against it so that's okay I think we need the first attack with our ghost here. Didn't want to do it. But um, we can't wait another round where she is then again attacking us with her sword, dealing more damage, so it's not going to work out. Putting the ghost back. Question is, where is she? Over there, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we would know if we were to effectively wait another round, she would definitely use her. Um, she would definitely use her sword attack again. It's kind of every second round is what the pattern that I've observed so far. So instead, we need to kill her and go for the first round of sarcophagus kills. Ok, 
hair trigger maybe please a hair trigger would be nice because uh, then we could take an extra shot appears to be some sort of psionic capacitor transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy okay, no restoring extra tech good things don't die we are in range and can double attack. This here is dangerous, we need to be careful. But considering all of the things that could have spawned, it is actually not so much of a problem. We weren't close enough, probably should have moved a little bit closer to get that extra shot. Every little bit of damage counts. Nice little damage with the gun. Keep it going. Another five points, please. Well, that was uh, somewhat decent. As much as I want to haywire protocol right away, let's not do that. Let's instead use the time to... It... It's difficult, this guy will probably move over and drop a couple of rockets on our head. It always does that. So maybe just gonna go out of range and take a shot from here. The sarcophagus is really more important than the enemy's hair trigger is perfect. Couldn't have asked for better timing. We're not going to attack it yet. If it's using its rockets, uh, that would be good. We're not triggering its overwatch. Um, the ghost is not immune, that is interesting, because the Templar itself is immune against um, against explosions. We have seen that in one of the previous missions, where the ghost effectively took some damage, while the Templar wouldn't have taken the damage. Um, Let's position ourselves. I'm trusting you here. I would want to take a fair chance of getting that mag, because it makes our life so much more easy. 50-50, come on. Oh, that looks good, that looks good. Nice. That's just another body on the, uh, on the field. One more that could potentially take some hits. Let's spot out the chosen one. Didn't work. As well as I wish it would have. Hmm. Again. 
didn't really work. I think uh, the Chosen went like behind here or here. It's the only explanation that I would have. In both of the cases, the mech should be the logical, uh, the logical target to assassinate. So this here covers a lot of fields, none of uh, which she is in. I'm wondering. Okay, there we go. Let's start with putting her into a different position. I really don't like where she has uh, started. Um, and I also don't like the cover. Cover just helps her, not us, really. Okay, reloading, run and gunning, we're still saving the Icarus jump in case something really bad happens. Nice little hit. She has bewildering hits now, which means she's taking some extra damage. for us to amplify her damage. Your power is nothing compared to the elders. Oh, that was great. I will not be deterred. Focus damage, bewildering damage, 17. Love it. Oh, wow, holy moly. Are we going to go for that? I mean, she's currently in a bewildered state, so I guess the faster we can kill her, the, le uh, the less um, katana attacks she has, the better for us. And we need to do a group heal anyways. The ghost is almost dead. And we can't let that happen. Oh, did she really teleport over there? How oh, unfortunate. Let's hope she's going to use her blindness grenade or shogun or anything. Uh, that would be fine. Uh, might as well position ourselves really aggressively next to her. If she uses shogun, we'll get an extra attack out of it. There we go. Wow. Wow. I have not foreseen that crit. Luckily, sustenance helped us. Okay. Gremlin, we certainly need to heal up. Group hug. Okay. 
All right. So one way of getting that uh, back uh, healing is Void Conduit. Which I think I want to do. Whatever generates healing is welcome now. Unfortunately, we can't use it on the chosen one. What we can do, though, is we can try to hit it. Uh, she hit her with limited success. Two more rounds uh, with the Mac, and then the heck will be broken. We healed four points of damage, which is good. So Void Conduit is an option for us to regain health as well. We have used a lot of healing resources. So let's trigger the overwatch. All right, whatever. Yeah, we might end up with not having him on our side, which would stink. Okay, let's do a bit of a switch redo here. First, we're moving over. Secondly, we are going to kill the Stun Lancer. Just setting up the, um, the mech in case. In case it, it deals, uh, it creates issues next round. We're going to parry here. Nice little hit. The assassin is down to 13 hit points. Might as well get her all the way down. Yeah, the heck is lost. That is unfortunate. But this here should trigger. T oh no, uh, he was blind. Ah, that's only one blade storm. Yeah, we can't hire Hayward Protocol again. Ah. OK, 
Okay. I really need uh, the extra attacks next turn. Can't kill the mech with just one shot. That's not going to work out. Oh, we could use Reaper. Yeah, thank you. That's a, that's the solution I was looking for. That's, by the way, a fantastic solution. Alright, one down. We're going to continue and we're killing the chosen one. Unfortunately, Reaper doesn't give you both of the uh, action units back, so our pi pistol shots. Uh, we only get one pistol shot. I fear the Chosen could continue the regeneration process indefinitely. I do not believe we can simply turn them down. Four points, that's okay. That's good. Keep it going. Six, please. Nice, nice, nice. Good. So that's ten. <clears throat> All right. We're going to... A protocol R7. Wait a second before we do that. Yeah, we can take shot. Okay. Going to A protocol ourselves. Just for the overwatch. And let's take a shot. Hair trigger. Come on, hair trigger. Nice. Chrysalid is a pretty solid target for us, so nothing to complain there. Eh, the Spectre is soon, so we don't have uh, blue screen rounds. So that's actually a problem. Not a big one, but it is a problem. We only got one more hit left. We're certainly not going to do anything other than hitting the sarcophagus. Uh, three that was minimum damage. Yeah, we don't have Reaper. Elsewise I would kill it. Let's keep on going. Nice, six points of damage, that's good. Okay, um... Let's see. Um... I mean, first and foremost, we're not attacking it, we're just standing here. Right? Right. Good. So we could position ourselves here, get the loot, and take a shot. That could be a thing. And I don't want to be greedy. This little bit of loot really doesn't mean anything. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Uh, being here is also not bad, because we could hide, uh, and the chrysalid would need, would need to go th to, uh, through two uh, blade storms, which is probably not going to do, so might as well position ourselves here, a little bit closer. Run and gun, reload, and let's take a short hair trigger. Come on. 
Ooh, 10 damage, that's good. No hair trigger this time. Well, now we do have two of them vanishing. That really sucks. Okay, so that clearly did not spot them out. Okay, that's the starter. I'm, I'm trusting you here. I mean, we are not dealing a lot of damage against the Elite Spectre, thanks to the hair trigger. Might actually work out. Okay, so that worked. What value do you place on the lives of your enemy? I don't want to go into melee with her, to be honest. So might as well go here. She can have the ghost if she wants. Shogun means we can heal just a bit. That is not too bad. And it'll be needed because we took another hit. I nine damage. It's just stupid ability. Enjoy these fleeting breaths while they last. I must move. In a two-man uh, two-man run, it is simply an absolutely retarded ability. I don't want to use any focus because I definitely will use Void Conduit. So might as well take the chance to take a hit on, uh, on the Chosen. Which worked, so she's going to teleport away. Or not. Void Conduit. Means we are healing slowly but surely. A protocoling ourselves for threat assessment, and let's start hitting the chosen. I need to shred her. So this guy will run over. We do have threat assessment, so this here is line of uh, sight or line of fire. Um, Let's make sure we put the ghost in the most beneficial position so that she's attacking the ghost, if anyone. Four hit points stolen, that's great. Keep on stealing. That way we can heal the Templar.
And thanks to Bladestorm. Blindness, Harbor Wave, both. Alright, Blindness. Blindness it is. Could theoretically reach her anywhere. That's only a 70% chance into full cover. So might as well. Oh, wait a second, I do have an idea. Amplify, yes, please. And let's go. We're saving our lightning hands. We need that a little bit later. Uh, same chance to hit her, but she's only in half cover. That's not bad. At least um, even 10% more chance to hit her. Um, I think we're going to reload. It's a good uh, moment in time. Pretty solid hits. Did she go? Where did she go? Oh, back here. Okay, perfect, good. So we're parrying because I don't know if uh, the um, if uh, the sun answer will attack us. We're blocking this way here. We really don't have much choice other than hunkering down. We will still take damage uh, if she decides to attack us. But at least she can't move through it, so she would need to move around. Doesn't, uh, doesn't really make a huge difference. So if she vanishes here, she might as well move over here. She could be all the way over here. Yeah, not sure. Okay, so that worked out well. Got back to two focus. Let's rock and roll. I still want to stay somewhat close to the sarcophagus. And let's position ourselves over here and take shots at her again. She dodged. I mean, if I do have the choice between both of them, I put uh, Hawkbite in front because 
he could heal by himself. She's probably going to go for another sword attack. Yep, I figured. Did I mention how stupid this ability is? If not, I just I just need to mention it. It's really, really bad. Good. We need to make sure that he's no longer in one-shot range. Okay. Next up. There is no other option than to trigger the Overwatch. Someone needs to do it. I, well, I could use the Icarus, I suppose. But do I want to do that yet? Still got run and gun left over. Hmm. Maybe I, I would want to keep the ghost as long as possible. So this here is a flanking position. Where did she go? Wait, what? Where? She's still there. Hmm. Do we want to risk it and risk her teleporting somewhere else? Well, maybe not the most clever um, idea. See, I knew she wasn't there. She was somewhere else. Four points of damage, okay. Templar Ghost is uh, offering itself as bait. And maybe if we position ourselves in a nice little line, she thinks that Harbor Wave is the right way to go. We are immune to Harbor Wave, so we might trick the AI in thinking that Harbor Wave is the best option. Uh, clearly we are not. No, we are. Cool. Alright, good job. Just stay there. Very nice positioning. And with a little bit of luck on our uh, pistol shot, this is a kill. <laughs> of course. You are wasting your time, Templar. The elders will not forgive you. Twenty five percent chance. She must have teleported to somewhere further away. Somewhere where the Templar Ghost can reach her, but somewhere where we can reach her. I'm willing to sacrifice the ghost to finally get rid of uh, the finally get rid of the shrine. Fortunately, the ghost is gone now. I wish we could resummon it. Would be probably too strong. With the amount of energy housed in that capacitor, I fear the chosen could continue the regeneration process indefinitely. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority.
Okay, we can hit it, or we can aid protocol ourselves for an overwatch and hit it. And I think we got it, uh, but we need to kill her one more time. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes, the regeneration process has been interrupted. Readings on the capacity. Let's speculate that there might be a spawn up here, so we get some uh, nice little blade storm attacks. Oh well, there is a spawn, but not. What? Why? Oh, nice. We can blade storm attack her when she spawns. Well, that's not bad. She has moved down to here. The camera immediately focused down there. Gotcha. She hasn't rapidly uh, regenerated. Even better. Nice little hit. I cannot be so easily dissuaded. Thirteen. Hmm. With a crit, we could finish her. If we were just to take a shot, that's a 50 50. What else? Does she count as, an, uh, as a psionic being? Probably. Volt deals some damage to her. Probably not enough. Yeah, we're going for a normal rent. Awesome. Also filling up our bar. Did not kill her, but we're close, guys. Planes Walker. Let's move it. Luckily we haven't even triggered spawns, which is great. I think if she if we kill her the shoguns will still exist. There will be no more running. Like you're, uh, you seem to be running like a little bitch. To be honest. So first and foremost, remnant here Give for hot fight. Okay, good. Got you, buddy. Don't you worry. No one's gonna go down here. Uh, secondly, we're going to trigger the overwatch shot. Move the fire position. What's over there? Even if that means that we're taking some damage. Yep. Thank you, body armor. Thank you, body armor. Why exactly do we not have any line of sight that... Oh my god. Respect <sighs> to 16. Okay, I like it. We're going with Void Conduit. But beforehand, we are taking a shot. A gamble. Yep, that's at least two points of damage. Good enough. Finally, a true strike. 
We're going with Void Conduit, like I said. Healing and basically blocking uh, blocking the other Stun Lancer. If the Stun Lancer moves, he will get killed by Bladestorm. Blinded. I am the will of the elders. Their blade strikes from the shadows. I will not shudder. I shall strike. Stop bubbling. It is time to die. The pain will only strengthen my focus. Okay, I think we got it. Good enough, he will take some more damage and die. And we finally get her. Nice! Whew. It wasn't easy, but we managed to pull it off, Commander. Oh. The fight ends. I was under the impression it wouldn't. My bad. So this team definitely deserves an A++. The two of them have so much sustain, healing here, healing there, dodging, and keep in mind we had we, we fought against enemies that had unresistible damage, and we still managed to pull it off. I really like how this was uh, going, taking over um, an enemy with hacking, just to get some more um, hit points going, lots of blade storm. Pretty, pretty good. At least we know for sure now that the Chosen can be taken out permanently. <laughs> 260 worry, kills. Lovely. Assassin's Arashi. That's a great shotgun. Assassin's Katana. That's a great Katana. And someone got fear of mutants. Why? Eric, why did you get fear of mutants? Dude, you are healthy, strong, and one of the best soldiers. How can you fear mutants? Well, I guess it makes sense. They are the only ones who can retaliate in uh, melee combat. Okay, good enough for now. Wow, that is, I'm, I'm really hyped. That was good. Two down, one to go. My siblings and I have had our differences, but still, I would never have expected either of them to go down like this. Setting course. South Africa. We're going to get the third one as well. It's just a matter of time. Nice little modular shotgun, so that means another um, another bonus slot there. Before we continue the autopsy side, I like the data pad as well. But I really also like the Berserker Queen. The armor is so good. 
and it helps. Um, I would want to give the armor to um, Renven. It's such a good armor for someone who is uh, using melee attacks. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. As Dr. Valen noted, Rage in suit. Report, nice. It was irresponsible and borderline irrational for her to have pursued this research, knowing the incredible risks involved, not just to herself, but to what little of humanity as a whole remains. The science is eager to well, Let's see. Planned. Can we just build get get started, Commander? The Rage suit. Yes, 5 days. Thank you. Get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. By the way, before we're doing nothing, like we still have a couple of cores left over. Might as well I'll slot two times ahead. ammunition there. Because we have a couple of uh, different ammunitions that are helpful, for instance, armor penetrating, incinerating, poison. Like all of them serve their purpose. And uh, there's our next target, which would be either destroy an alien relay uh, with a massive amount of loss, go to Brazil, by the way, what's the hidden event here? Faces once on every mission, that's actually a good event. Mm. Here it is a recover an item, and we even get concealment as an ability. Not sure why that is supposed to be. Oh, what? Wait. That here looks promising. A Colonel Sharpshooter is a really good reward. So we are going to do that mission. We are going to do that mission. Um, I'm done for today. Quite literally i feel exhausted after the fight against the chosen that was a good long and really 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 intense battle uh, it was a banter just like we wanted it to be thank you so much for watching and uh, remember uh, i appreciate the comments even if it's just wow i wouldn't have guessed that the chosen is uh, doing this and that or maybe you tell me what you like most about uh, the the fight Anyways, take care. We are going to continue this uh, run very soon. I am convinced now, since we have eliminated both of the difficult chosens, that we can um, run over the last one. And uh, then the only real challenge that we are facing is the last mission. I have no idea how that's going to pin, uh, play out, but we're certainly going to find out in this run. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, see you very soon. Bye-bye.